Hi everyone, welcome to another Disney limited edition doll review and today I will be making a quick overview of the two highly sought limited edition dolls based from the live action movie Cinderella. You will be able to take a glimpse of Cinderella in her blue gown and the other one in her wedding gown. So stay tuned. These are the two limited edition dolls based from the movie Cinderella. Based on their packaging, you can tell it apart from other Disney limited edition boxes. The one in blue gown even has a ribbon on top like a carrying case and the box is carved out differently. The wedding gown box is also unique and was made like a window that opens and closes with magnets on it to ensure the box closes completely. On the lower portion of the boxes, you can see the number of dolls created. The blue one has a global edition of 4000, while the wedding version is a lot lower at 500, making it very valuable to doll collectors. The wedding box comes off easily by pulling the box upward and removing the clear plastic upward. The one in blue gown has ribbon on the back that you have to untie before pulling the front box upward. On the bottom of the box of the wedding gown version, you can find the Certificate of Authenticity. While on the other box is a little tricky. After pulling out the front cover, you have to pull the inside casing upwards to pull out the entire doll. After that, turn it around and there you can find the certificate taped on the back. On the back of each box, you can read the details of their dolls and their price tags are on the lower right side. This is Cinderella in her wedding gown. She has a plastic molded crown and her hair was put in a very pretty bun. Her molded face is very movie accurate, including her jewelries in her ears and her wedding ring. She wears a long veil. wedding gown train with gems embedded all over the gown. The gown also has printed floral patterns all over it, including the plastic butterflies embedded to it. Under the gown, she is wearing a tan high-heeled shoe to match her wedding gown. Now, this is Cinderella in her ball gown. Her hair has very pretty curls with gems scattered all over her hair. Her skin has a pearlescent glow on it, including the glitters on her decolletage. Her face and makeup is again very movie accurate. Her blue ball gown has plastic butterflies around the chest area and sleeves. The rest of the gown has scattered gems to give it a lot of sparkle. Right beside her, you can see her other pair of shoes for you to catch a glimpse on, most likely the one she was not able to pick up when she was running in a hurry like in the movie. The overall background is very pretty with butterflies on it and the castle cutout was made to appear like 3D. Overall, these are very beautiful dolls made by Disney for all Cinderella fans and doll collectors. 
Both of the dolls stand 17 inches high and the boxes and the overall design are really very well made. I highly recommend these two dolls for all Cinderella fans, Disney enthusiasts, and all doll collectors out there, especially the wedding gown version because of its very low number. Again, unfortunately, these two dolls sold out quickly, especially the wedding gown version. Please check my Facebook page for my next review. Until then, have courage and be kind. Bye!